Dude, where are we here? What is this? Dave mm -hmm. Tourget, artist, that's right, that's Pasadena, right? right? That's South all Pasadena. I know. A South long South. way <laughs> from Beverly Hills <laughs> a long by way. the L.A. freeway. Right across the Grand Canyon. 14 miles, but, you know, two hours from Beverly Hills. Exactly. And like a world away from, from the reality I'm used to. Yeah. What is it? What's going on over here? Well, you know, you got the Grand Canyon of downtown L.A., so it, it takes a while to get here, you know? Um, yeah, it's just, um, we're, we're actually at the Chouinard House. That's the, the house that I live in. How long have and you lived it? How long have you lived in this house? Uh, since 1998. When was the house built? 1907. And Chenard, tell me about Chenard. Yeah, well, she she was uh, her name was Nelbertina Chenard. Mm -hmm. Founded the Chenard Art Institute, mm -hmm. uh, downtown L.A. So you see, you had the silent film industry going on, yeah, yeah. and women couldn't vote. Right. Yeah, and she started <laughs> this art school that ran until when? Uh, 1972. And did she live here the whole time? She lived here the whole time, yeah. Her dad built the house. <clears throat> so, you know, she was connected with Disney. She taught all of Di Disney's early animators. And Disney became sort of involved in the school. And then later, uh, you know, it, it basically morphed into what's known as CalArts now. And yeah, she taught drawing, I think, for the first maybe 10 years. And then, then she just, her whole thing was eclectic. Uh, you know, just get artists in. You know, no formula really that I that I, I very free form. Very free form, you know. Mm -hmm. Being an LA artist, I didn't know there was any of that influence. Right. It was right. like a, a void, you know. It's like zero culture. That's that's what I thought LA was about, you know. But finding this really led me into like a, a whole viewpoint of the fact that LA had an extremely deep culture. It wasn't it wasn't shallow at all. So I kept going and going, and then I started talking to people who went to the school, and then we kind of, we form, I basically, eventually, me and the co-founder um, started a non-profit, and we started getting people involved with it, you know what I mean? So, so you now have a foundation, though, is it? Yeah, it Chouinard Foundation. You know, most of the West Coast art movements traveled through Chouinard. I mean, you have, for instance, Cicado's, came and taught at Chouinard. You have Hans Hoffman teaching uh, painting in 1932. You have uh, Stanton McDonald Wright, uh, part of the whole thing. Um, you know, F. Tolls Chamberlain, uh, Lawrence Murphy. You know, these, these are people coming out of the turn of the century Paris, you know? If you really look at West Coast art and where it's gone, you know, you have to really uh, give her a lot of credit because it, it is an ex extremely eclectic place now. You built this, built right? Built this, yeah. That's right. It's very funky. What, what is yeah. it, what's it all about here? What were you doing? Um, I, let's see, you know, I went as tall as I could go, you know, because I wanted as much space, but I wanted it, I like being outside, so I wanted to have an open feel. Right. So I, I put this big uh, door opening and these big glass doors glass on door. the side, know. you know. That gives me the vibe that I'm basically outside, you know, which I like. You know, I have sculptures, which are here. Now, these are funky. I mean, I yeah. like them. I'm, I'll be honest. I'm not just saying that. I like them a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's just stuff that found stuff, right? Yeah. I call them accidentals. That's Accident but they're not accidental, are they? Um, you know, they are in a way. They are and they aren't, right? I mean, basically, the accident is that I'm, I'm really never trying to make them. Um, I went six months without making one before doing all these in one, pretty much one shot. But basically it's sort of a, uh, it's an intuitive thing. It just, it just clicks, you know. I just, I just see that this goes together and it, this is going to be this way. That's it. It just, it just, it's almost like I'm looking at a bunch of stuff all over the place and all of a sudden it starts to move into place. And it does that in my mind, and then I assemble it. Then I have to uh, basically put it all together and decide whether I'm going to glue or wire it or, or however it goes. And it's together. old stuff. Usually, yeah. I, I really have never come down to my studio and said, okay, I'm going to make some of this stuff now. It, it, part of the process is that it has to be organic. I've been doing this a long time uh, as just on the side of things, and it's been kind of gaining... Mm -hmm. a little more of a foothold in my practice, but it's still not, uh, I mean, the main thing I, I do is the paintings, I think. Let's you know? look at some of your paintings. Yeah. So, 
you're doing a show. It's opening on, I believe, the 18th. 18th, right? Beverly that's Hills right. At, uh, Gregory Way Gallery. That's in, right. In South Beverly, uh, uh, South Beverly Drive in Beverly Hills near Gregory Way. Yeah. Um, but this is the lion's share of what, it, what, what you're about. Right? That's right. I think so. How yeah. long have you been doing this type of work? Um, I started painting on plastic in, uh, I believe it was about 85, 1985. Really? That long? Yeah. Reverse? Yeah. Reverse painting. What did people say when they first saw it? Do you remember? I mean, what was the motivation? What was the trip? What was going on? You know, my sister is an artist also, and she was painting on mylar, you know, thin. Mm -hmm. And I just, I instantly just said, wow, you know, the, the saturation and the lack of texture is what I liked. Oh. Instantly. And it's all in reverse, too, which has, I have some fascination with. Everything is done backwards. When you're painting on canvas, you, you're coming forward and essentially you can paint things out and change things. Right. So this is different. It's more of a kind of a high wire act in that once I put the image down, it's done because you can't I can't, I can't, can't paint it. over it, man. These drips. Mm -hmm. I did not specifically need or want that to happen. It happened. You glad they're there? Yeah, I'm glad they're there. It had yeah. to happen. It, it's, it's just what happened, you know? Modern art, postmodern art, California art, Dave Tourget. I'm going to show you a continuation of my work. Mm -hmm. um, whatever that means to people is mm -hmm. fine, you know. How about, how, about we, how about we could leave it Dave mm -hmm. Tourget, all of every any, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Dave, thank you so much for spending time with thank me. You, thank you, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, good luck on the 18th of June. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Okay, good.